Hello. Hi. I'm Malcolm Arras for that. My question is, who encouraged you to join this world Philippines again? It was actually my decision. Um, my parents, actually my family, they asked me, Vaisa, is this something that you want to do? Because if you if you want to do it, then we'll fully support you. But if you're half half about it, then there's no point of us supporting you because we want to make sure that you're going to be fully dedicated and fully committed. And I really prayed about it. That's the reason why it took me about two years to join again. It, last year was a really a time for me to reflect on what what's my next step. What am I going to do? Do I really want this? I really question. I question myself. I question God. I I I seek the advice of my family if it's something that I should do. And they always said to me, "What is your heart say? Is this something that you want to do, God? Because if it is, then we'll support you." And I felt peace about joining, um, coming back again. So I said, "No, 2019 is the year that I'm going to come back." So that's the reason why. Uh, tell us about the Casuso Foundation. Yes, I'm, I'm so fortunate to be part of the foundation. I've been working with them closely since last year, but I've been a breast cancer advocate since 2014 because of my mother who inspired me. Um, Casuso, I'm actually not only am I a proud spokesperson for the foundation, but I'm also a trustee of the board. So I'm actually the youngest um, trustee of the board. They appointed me a few months ago to be part of the foundation and I was actually shocked. Um, most of the time I was just really volunteering, um, doing my part in helping. And then they asked me, would you like to be part of the foundation and do more? And that's what has been keeping me busy for the last couple of months. Um, I've been working closely, I've been hands on with the foundation, working closely with the patient. I got to know them more better. I got to hear their stories. and. It's very inspiring because they're the one who's inspiring me to live life despite the things that they're going through. So Kososo is amazing. We serve um, the poorest of the poor um, patients with breast cancer. Thank you, Glenn Sakuda. Thank you so much. serving your stint as a runner up, you were very active, you were very um, involved. Do you think this is an edge um, compared to your other uh, competitors? I would say it is an edge because I have a better understanding on what really goes on and what to expect. Um, during 2017, it really opened my eyes because I got to see my sisters really grow. I got to see them flourish and I was I'm so, I was so proud of them. Even to this day, they're doing so well in their career, and it really inspires me that I can also do the same. And it really gave me the motivation to really work more harder as well. And it definitely does give me an edge because I know what to expect. But at the same time, there's pressure because people will expect that, oh, because she did it before, before she should do better. So there is an aspect where it's there's an there's a pressure with it as well. So yeah. Thank you. Hi, I'm Professor. 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 Professor.